An image of the rumored Nike LeBron 22 has surfaced online and sneakerheads are scratching their heads wondering what they are seeing exactly. That's because the leaked image is said to be a collaboration with, of all things, Monopoly, the board game. But let's pause, take a deep breath, and take a step back because there could be more beyond this collaboration. So let's talk. Welcome back. This is Fresh Bear. Smash the thumbs up button. Share this video to your friends. Follow me on Instagram. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. LeBron's rumored upcoming signature shoe appears to have a low top profile which also seems to be fairly similar to the cut of the LeBron 21, at least in terms of the cut at the collar height. This seems to be the current trend in LeBron's signature line since the LeBron 20. The cut also looks sleek from tongue down to the toe box which resonates the top design of the past two LeBrons. Meanwhile, the rear section of the midsole in the rumored LeBron 22 also appears similar to the one found in the LeBron 21. The lacing system in the rumored Nike LeBron 22 appears to be a hybrid setup. This is because the top three eyelets have laces go through them then outside while the bottom seems to have an internal setup where lace loops are most likely used. This is unlike the past several LeBrons where the lacing setup is more on the standard side. A lateral view of the midsection of the rumored Nike LeBron 22 reveals that the outsole appears to be decoupled. The last time we've seen this setup was back in the LeBron 19. What this basically means is that the front section of the outsole is separated from the back section. This leaves the heel-to-toe transition interesting as this could either make the transition feel sloppy or smooth. Working in conjunction with the decoupled outsole is the elevated midfoot shank. While the material used is not yet known, it could possibly be hard TPU. This plastic shank sits at the bottom right in the middle of the decoupled outsole. Apart from this, it is also raised higher in the middle quite like a triangle. This is highly likely for extra lateral support. We do not have a clear view just yet of the outsole, but the leaked colorway of the rumored LeBron 22 shows solid rubber but in two distinct colors, further reinforcing the idea that the outsole is decoupled. The thickness of the outsole and midsole, including their cut, appears similar to the LeBron 21. I won't be surprised if the rubber used in the rumored LeBron 22 is quite similar to the LeBron 21. Because of this, it's possible that the traction will not be very different regardless of the traction pattern. Not much can be said about the shoe's cushioning at this point, but we may have some clues. For one, a full-length zoom setup is almost not feasible. This is because of the decoupled outsole setup. This brings us to the idea that at least there will be a large zoom bag at the front and another zoom bag at the back. In other words, the cushioning setup could be similar to the LeBron 21. Based on the single image alone of the rumored Nike LeBron 22, it's difficult to form a conclusive opinion. But all the same, it seems to me that the rumored LeBron 22 could be closely similar to the LeBron 21 in terms of performance. So far, the changes seem very minimal between the two, from the possible tech specs down to the silhouette. If the LeBron 21 had a half-sibling, it could be the rumored LeBron 22. In the meantime, let me know what you think about the rumored Nike LeBron 22. Post your thoughts in the comments section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This is Fresh Bear. Thanks for watching. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs.